Insane. What's up y'all? Welcome to my channel. Ellery here. So I did a poll on Instagram yesterday because I had opened a couple of boxes and I asked you guys what you guys wanted, would want to see a video on whether it be the Desi Katie Dose of Colors collab or the Colourpop Designer Disney collection. And the results are in. It was very close as you can see but Colourpop won by 5%. Therefore here we are. So I have the box with me right here. This is the PR mailing box that it came in. Disney Designer Collection Colourpop. Let's open this sucker up. Whoa! So you have like a pop out. I don't know if you see that. It's 3D. I had to have Yoshi break down who all these gals were because you know I'm old now and I'm forgetting faces and whatnot. But here we have Cinderella. You got Snow White. You got who I believe is Jasmine. She's looking very posh so I didn't recognize that at first with all that melanin. Then we have Belle. We have Ariel and we have Tiana. And they all look fabulous in their couture. The collection comes with a palette, six luxe lipsticks, four super shocks, and three lippies right here. I thought the packaging of all this stuff was very chic, very designer, loving that theme. Touche for them not doing like the typical Disney princess cause you know that's like 90s ish style. They brought them into the 2000s and they are looking very very current and so is this collection as far as like the packaging and it not being so like gimmicky. I like that. I like it a lot. So here's the eyeshadow palette right Chia. All the names of the shadows go with like the Disney movies. Like you got Prince Charming, Fairy Godmother, Triton, Abu, Beast, Magic Carpet. I think that's cute as well. I'm just gonna do like a quick arm swatch so you guys can see the scheme of colors on my skin. Obviously the pigmentation is really nice as are the other ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. Here are the Lux lipsticks. The bundle's called Kiss the Girl. The palette by the way was called It's a Princess Thing. Now these lipsticks are really, I love the packaging for these, like, they're kind of like heavy. I think this is one of Colourpop's cutest packaging that I've seen for their lipsticks, so touche. Here is Cinderella, then you have Ariel, Belle, Snow White, Jasmine, and Tiana. I mean, I know Snow White wore a red lip too, but how you not gonna get red Ariel? Like... Ariel is a legend in these streets, known for her popping red lipstick. Fun fact, when I was little, I had a ritual where I had to watch The Little Mermaid every night at 8 o'clock when me, my mom, my sister was eating dinner. Mind you, my sister hated my guts because my mom let me get away with this. And I could not wait to be able to wear red lipstick because of Ariel. So, you know, I'm a little hurt that, that she doesn't represent the red shade, but actually my favorites of all of them are Ariel's Snow White's and Tiana's, so she's still popping. Now for the four super shocks, they are called, the bundle's called Fairy Tale Moment. This one is called So This Is Love, Be Our Guest, Almost There, and A Whole New World. I'm gonna need a whole new arm in a minute cause it's turning red. And lastly, there are three lippies. Kinda hard to see cause they're all ultra glosses, but you have Bibbidi, which is like a clear gloss with some gold glitter in it. Bobbity, which is a like peachy-ish gloss, and Boo. Which is more like a mauve-ish gloss. Alright, so that's the whole Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I'm about to create a little look with all of these. In the meantime, in the in-between time, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. <laughs> and then watch to see me create the look and my final opinion at the end of the video. Okay, I did a very dainty purple look with a little fairy dust on it. <laughs> I don't think I've done purple in a while. I missed her. She's so cute. Alright, let's get started. So this almost turned into a catastrophe because I thought this shade right here, Triton, this brown shade, I thought it was a matte and I soon realized it is not really a matte. It's like a satin shadow and it, I don't really know how to describe it other than it has like a pearlized, pearlized finish on it. Um, so my crease was looking real, um, 
it was looking like Triton's crown. So I guess, I mean, that was the whole point of the shade. I just didn't realize that it was a pearlescent. But I'm gonna do this side exactly the same way because as you can see, it still didn't turn out too shabby. Um, just gave me a little glow up there. Prime my eye first and foremost. Uh, this is Benefits Don't Stray. Ooh, my hands are ashy. I don't have time to find a lotion though. Let me spray some setting spray on it or something. That was ghetto, but I don't care. All right, so as I said, the first shade I started with was Triton and just buff that above and into my crease area. Actually a very interesting color, like, because even though it's not matte, it's not like overly pearlized, so it still, it still can work in your crease, you know? At least I think it can. Next, I went into Abu. This is, in fact, a matte shade. And I blended that color into Triton and into the crease. In the outer V of my lid, I went into Magic Carpet. It is like a deep purple plum shade. And I'm just going to work that into the outer V and crease as well. This is not a matte shade either, by the way, which I like because it kind of adds some depth, some deepness, but it's not too dark. Still giving you that princess vibe. You feel me? Now I'm going into Poison Apple and I'm going to pack that onto the rest of the lid area. Blend that baby out. And for the sake of trying to use as much as I can from the collection, I went and grabbed a whole new world, the Super Shock Shadow, the Super Shock Shadow, and I just pat that over Poison Apple. Then I grabbed this purple liner from Makeup Forever. It is their I-90 brush, I mean pencil. And I put that on my waterline and smudged it out with Magic Carpet. All right, then right here in the inner corner, I thought I needed a little bit more pixie, a little more shimmer. So I grabbed one of Butter London's eye glosses in the shade Ultraviolet. I've used these on my channel before. It's the little jelly eye gloss. And I just used the tip of my pinky fingernail to dab this on the inner corner of my eyes. And in honor of another icon, my girl, Princess Jasmine, also an all-time favorite of mine. I had to do a pop and wing liner. I'm going to use CoverGirl's Matte Black Liner, per use. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to do some lashes and mascara. The lashes are called Boudoir Light from House of Lashes, one of my all-time favorite lash styles. And the mascara, of course, is from Benefit Bad Girl Bank. Now I'm going to finish off the face with the highlighter, which is not in this collection. It is one of the new pressed highlighters from Artist Couture. I can't really show you how I want to show you because um, at some point during transit, uh, no one read the fragile label on the box. And all of my compacts were broken. All of them. Um, whew, I'm sorry. I had a moment. But the one I'm going to use today is called Honey Drip. It's as close as I can get without it falling out. I have not worn any of these before, so I'm really excited to see how it looks. All right, let's see. Oh, snap. Oh my gosh. What? What? <laughs> I was not expecting that, girl. What's good? was good. I am shaking. I was already a fan of his Diamond Glow powders, the loose powders um, he had. You guys know I've used LeBron's and a couple others on my channel before, but when using them as a highlighter, I always use like one of my pressed powders underneath it. But now, it's like a Diamond Glow powder and a pressed powder in one. So no more double stepping. Ay, ay. I really like this shade too. Like it's it almost looks like Lucy. And you guys know how I feel about Lucy. Like, we're best friends. She's gonna be really jealous. She is. But you know, the more the merrier. All of them get to know each other. Yes, let's put her everywhere. <laughs> All right, and for the lips, I think I wanna keep it, you know, on the, my lashes are crooked. Keep it soft, I wanna go with something soft. So I'm gonna use Ariel, I think, with, 
Spot Gloss. I'm gonna try it without a liner first, but it might be a little light, let's see. It is a little light, but I'm just gonna blot it on what's light for me. But I'm hoping this gloss will kind of mob it out. It's not, it's not doing what I thought I was gonna do. All right, so it's looking a little too pinky for me, even though it is looking princessy. Uh, it is too pink for me, so I'm gonna use the Hawkwind Kat Von D liner and see if I could add a touch of deepness to it. I don't wanna go too dark. Yeah, that's much better. Let me hose myself down with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and then we're gonna wrap this baby up. All right, so my final verdict on this ColourPop Disney Designer Collection. Honestly, I'm a little impressed. I'm impressed because usually with these collections, like I said earlier, it's really gimmicky. Like it's, they take the, the theme of the collection, whether it be Star Wars, and they literally do like the exact colors of Darth Vader, black and white, and the exact colors of Chewbacca, brown. Like, you know what I mean? Like they take the colors literally and just throw it in a palette and name them after the characters. And then boom, you have your limited edition Star Wars collection. And to me, I, and this, that's no shade. I don't even know anyone who's done a Star Wars collection. I'm just, that was just, I don't know why that even came to mind because I've never even seen a Star Wars movie. But anyways, it usually just seems like they just throw colors that seem to fit that theme together in a palette and slap the name on it. And, you know, sometimes it works out just because, you know, the colors are nice, but sometimes they don't. They just, you know, they're just like, okay, that's, that's cool. With this one, I like how they made it a designer collection and actually, like, updated the Disney princesses. I thought that was really unique like this is what they would look like if they were like real people and it was 2018 and they came to the met gala like the packaging especially like i said with these lux lipsticks they really like really came together i feel like the eyeshadow palette fits in with the theme the color choices i feel like i could probably pick one of these colors and like related to one of the princesses so I think that was great. If you already use ColourPop you know how their pigmentation is, you know how their glosses are, you know how their Super Shock shadows, the OGs of ColourPop's work. Um, so overall with the theme and all that good stuff I think they did a really good job. So shout out to ColourPop for um, doing something different when it came to these Disney themed collections. Um, the honorable mention, my highlight, do we even need to talk about her? I mean, she's speaking without me speaking, you know? Love the new pressed highlighters from Artist Couture. Shout out to Mac Daddy, aka Angel. You did it again. I didn't expect anything less from you because your whole existence is glam and, and, and bombness. So, like... I just trust what you put your name on. So great job creating some more bomb highlighters for me to um, glisten in. And thank all of you guys for picking this video for me to film. Thank you for taking my poll if you participated. And I hope you guys enjoyed the look and the video. And let me know what you think about it in the comments if you liked it. Thumbs up if you didn't like it. Thumbs up because that's just a nice thing to do, you know. And as usual, let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments below. But until next time. Love you guys. Mwah.